Hi, good morning. My name is Nikki. Welcome to our home circuit hit. Today's focus is low impact and it's focused on upper body and core. So we are talking shoulders, <laughs> these are the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps, the back, obliques, lower tummy and a little bit of glute work too. You need ideally something comfortable to lie on and for your um, press up work. You also need some trainers and ideally you've got weights. Now if you don't have home weights you can use things like books, like heavy items around the house. If you're using actual physical weights, my recommendation is a one kilo, sorry, is a five, is one five kilo weight, two, two and a half kilo weights, and maybe some lighter ones. I'm gonna start um, the first set with the two, two and a half, which I'm gonna double up to work sometimes and sometimes take them apart too. So we're gonna get warm, I'll tell you all about the workout. Give your shoulders a nice warm shoulder roll, and when you're ready, step touch, side to side. Nice big steps. And punch up to the sky, lift up and down. Now as we train, we've got six blocks today. Each block has got six exercises. Each exercise 30 seconds long, meaning each block is gonna be three minutes with a short break in between. Our first block is focused on shoulders and back. Take your legs wide, squat down. And for this, you're gonna need either one heavy weight or two medium to light weights. Now as you squat, pull your abs in tight, put your weight into your heels, sink your butt just above the knee line like you're sitting down in a chair, and have your knees track in line with the toes. Take your arms out to the side, some shoulder rolls, whilst we're doing this too. So we want to get the body nice and prepared for our main low impact hit training today. Take your shoulder in the opposite direction. Okay, and when you're ready, you're going to grab your weights, we're waiting for the buzzer, but we wanna have them ready to go. So, if you're using two weights, put them together. If you've got one weight, just lift it, hang down between your thighs, and we're gonna continue with some squats until it does. First exercise is a squat with an overhead press. As we do so, we're gonna reach down as low as we can go with the weights. Nice and calm so far. So just lots of waiting, small lift up and down, just to really get ready for today. <laughs> up, down, down and up, that's it. So push the weight as high as you can, as many squats as you can in the 30 seconds that we've got. All the way down and all the way up. That's it. If you want even more, you can come up on your toes. It's really your choice this morning. This time you wrap, you push, and then you roll back down. Remember, you're putting the abs in tight, you support the back, and then you lift up really high from the side. Looks like this. So your weight is always in your eye line. You want to take it not above your head. You want to push it well, above your head height-wise, but not behind <laughs> Either single weights, squat, row, or you can hold the weight together, it's really your choice. As you do this, eyes super glued a meter ahead of you on the ground, squeeze your shoulder blades together as you sink down. Whew. That's it. Try and bend your knees a little bit more, pull the elbows back, and have the weight raising against the outside thighs up to the hips. The next one, we have one upright row with a squat, one forward raise. Upright row, forward raise. Upright row, forward raise. Now stay with that, you may prefer to put your thumbs in between. This is a great way to get more stabilization. So push the weight as far away from your chest as you can. That's lovely. One deadlift, one high pull. Deadlift, high pull. So eyes again, super glued a meter ahead of you. As you sink down, sticking your butt back out. And as you high pull, lift your heels. You might even want a little bend of the knee, helping you lift up that bit taller. 
We've only got one more exercise after this for our first block. lunges, alternating legs. So you take a big step back, you bend your back knee, ideally you want to get your front thigh parallel down to the floor as you do this. Now this becomes too much, you can take the weights here, you can even hold them down by your side, just focus on your legs a few minutes, it's really your workout, your choice. Up we go. We've got a 30 second break coming up. So just well done. Put your weights down quickly. Shake it all out. Our next round is focused arms. So biceps, triceps. Again, six exercises. When you're ready, grab your weights. Prepare yourself. Our first one is a hammer curl. So the weights stay facing inwards, palms face out, round your shoulders. Knees are soft. And we wait. If you need, grab water at any time, especially in the breaks. And down 30 seconds starts now so just touch your upper arms with the weights let them hang down try to do this to keep your upper body still you want to avoid swinging and really focus on isolating the muscles in the arms the next exercise is a bicep double pulse for this one as you lift up halfway you're going to turn the weights upwards towards the ceiling Two pulses, back down. Rotate your weights, back down. That's it. <laughs> so you fatigue the upper body here. And hopefully, you're very slightly sweaty from that first round. So having a little break from the cardio as you focus on the arms. <laughs> Lift up, halfway, up, down. Up, halfway. <laughs> Bicep curls lift all the way up, all the way down. Different to the hammer curls, we rotate the weights in towards our body and down we go. If it becomes too much, you want to break, take one arm at a time, that's absolutely fine. Up and down, up and down. I have a feeling my head might be cut off for some of this workout, but that's not a problem. <laughs> that's good. Last few seconds. Focus now, let's move. Put your weights together. Take one leg back, arms super good in towards the ears, tricep dips. So you go all the way down to the nape of your neck and then up again. Down and up, down and up. Now you need your mats nearby. We're coming down to the floor for our next two exercises. When the buzzer kicks in, you lose one of your weights. You hold on to just one. We're going to do some tricep kickbacks. into your left hand, step your right leg forward, chest is up, up, row, and just stay with the push back. All the way. Do you extend out and in, controlling the way as you do so. So no crazy, no crazy enough to look at this, just control it as you come in. On the side, it looks like this, you row up and out. Out and out. This is our last exercise for this block. We're almost a third of the way through the workout. Last few seconds. Try and get as many reps in as you can here, but controlled rather than crazy, crazy fast. Our next round is all about shoulders, chest, and more tricep work. For this, again, you're going to need a couple of weights as we do this. So we're going to start with one arm, one weight to begin with, in our left hand, hands on our hips, and we'll prepare. If you need water, this is the time. Left leg steps back, left arm to the ceiling. Each time, same arm, same leg. <laughs> Remember, you're bending the back knee, you're not stepping back. What I see in class a lot is people kind of just doing this, which is easy, 
but it's not going to work as the same. So let's step back and push up high. Last few seconds. Okay, right arm, right leg, step back and up. Let's sit on the side again, just like this. So we're back to kind of lifting the heart rate a bit more as well. And next time I'm going to grab both weights, we're going to push both arms up to the ceiling, alternating lunges backwards. Last few seconds. Okay, Left leg goes back first, then the right. This is a little toughy, this one. Extend the arms high. Whew. Keep on going. If any time you need, have a little rest. And then when you're ready, reset, come back. Now quickly, when the beat kicks in, we lie on our backs, we're going to chest pull over. Hold on to your weight. Right, on our backs. Push your lower back into the floor. Knees at bed, feet on the ground. We come down to the chest, over the head, back and up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Elbows are glued against the body. You're gonna feel this in your chest, in the front muscles. Right, tricep dips, arm narrow. Then you come down and up, down and up. Options on your toes, in three quarters, or in a box with a tricep dip, so your hands are just under your shoulders, they graze in against the body, okay? So don't let them come out, graze them in against the body as you do so. Down and up. All the way down. Put your hands wide now, now they have permission to go out. Chest press up, so again, your option, three quarters, in a box, or on your toes. Down and up, pull your belly in tight. Take your chest down to elbow height. Spread the palms nice and wide. And just keep going all the way through. Remember the options are here, they're also here. Last exercise before our break. Okay. Right, we are halfway. Grab water if you need it. Our focus next time, backs, biceps and shoulders. So a little bit of repetitive work to ones we've done some new ones as well. We're going to start the squat press. So again, say, I feel like holding onto the two weights together. I quite like this combination. And my shoulders, unlike the others, we're going to hold it here and push up. So we're not going to take the weight and hold it. Let's go up and down, up and down. That's it. Now if you want, take your legs a little bit wider. You're going to focus a little bit more and the other thighs and the glutes that way. A bonus work for you. We're going back to our deadlift rows next. Yeah. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're still working. Right. Hold each hand. Squat, row, arm, down. One, two, three, four. Knees, hips, knees, stand. And the next exercise is our clean and press, if you remember that. So weights are going to go together. We squat, rotate the weight and push it to the ceiling. That's it. Last few. Right. And you press. Push up high. Fantastic. Woo. So just because we're not jumping up and down doesn't make it a not challenging workout. And the more you can use the weights, the better it is for toning, for bone density. This is for functional movements. This is just like reaching up and putting something in a cupboard. Okay, back to our hammer curls. Thumb in between your weights if you've got it. Keep the knuckles facing outwards, up to our shoulders, and down again. Up and down. Just a few 
few more of these. Next exercise is our bicep pulses. So, up, halfway, up, down. I'm gonna keep this below the chest line. So just around the belly button, a little bit lower, a little bit higher, and then all the way down back to the hips. Miss working out with you, but I'm looking forward to when we can next do it in person. Right back to our bicep curls, up and down. I also feel really lucky that I've got this room. It's definitely the best spare room I've ever had. It's great for my own workouts. <laughs> okay, last few. Remember, if you are fatiguing, you can go down to one arm at a time. Maybe you can give yourself a shoulder roll, but remember, it's only 30 seconds, so. Give it your best, it will be over soon. Well done. And shoulders. We have got next more back and um, shoulders. Um, yeah, a little bit more. I, for this one, I'm going to actually go slightly lower to begin with just to show you a demonstration of our Arnold press. So, watch your having a quick break. Watch me slowly. I'm going to elbows in, we open wide, we push up, we rotate in, we come down. Now, you can stay with that, or if you want, you can add on a squat for extra work. As soon as the music kicks in, we're good to go. Right, squat, a little bit quicker than what I was demonstrating as well, so we get as many in as we can in that time. Out, and in, up. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Squeeze the shoulder blades in around the spine. As you open up, and then bring the elbows in together at the end. Next time, we're going to lose the weight. We've got walking burpees, low impact. If you don't have any, there's your two bottom down. You can jump them too, it's your choice. So, we squat, walk back, walk in, squat, squat, walk back, walk in, up. If you want, you can jump them. Entirely your choice. I have neighbors I like. Oh. I also have this constant problem on my phone, don't I? Never mind, team, sorry. Just keep on doing that, do your burpees. I'm not gonna do any more, because evidently my phone doesn't like them. <laughs> and next exercise, circling arms. So again, grab your weights. Apologies about that, hold it wide. This is why I should do low impact, right? Not because of my neighbors, because of my technical problems. That's fine, circle them forwards. And when you're ready, circle them backwards. This is kind of like the microphone breaking in the studio, right? Or the air con going, or someone randomly walking in and taking all the weights. Circle the other way. Okay. Our next one is pointer. So come on down to your mat. Have one weight in your left hand. Right leg comes in. You extend opposite arm and leg. Out to three quarters and in. So you take it out of the diagonal. You want to keep your hips and shoulders square to the floor as you do this. Belly is very tight. Really good this for your back muscles, for your posture, for your strength. Change arms, change legs. Quick as you can. Out, three quarters, out, in. Now if you are losing your stability, you can always keep both knees on the ground. Just do the arm work. We also want you to think about what's happening with your weight. You want to keep it in line with your shoulders. If it starts dropping down, the weight is too heavy. It's compromising your range of movement and your technique. So don't be afraid to do this without a weight too. Last few seconds. Okay, slow it down, swimming. So arms out, legs out, chin tucked in. Just lift your thighs off the floor, squeeze your glutes. Imagine you are going swimming as you do this. Really good work this for our backs. So legs are straight, toes pointed, all the way through to the end of this round. Keep it going. Can you reach even further with the fingertips? That's it, try and get your foot off the floor. Our final set is all about the core today. So we're gonna prepare ourselves, sit ourselves down for this. You need a weight nearby. For now though, have a little rest, have a little down. We're starting with a cross crawl. Elbows stay wide, try not to bring them forward. We're gonna work your core muscles here. 
choice is to extend the legs or tap the toes down. You'll, you'll work out your choice. Tap, side to side option. Extend the leg, twist, bring your shoulder across the opposite chest. That's it. And if you want to extend the legs, try and point the toes, push the foot as far away as you can go. Keep on breathing. Breathing out as you lift up, and then as you go back. Can you reach even further? Try and keep your shoulders off the ground as you do this. Now you want to have a weight potentially for the next exercise. I'm going to my heavy five kilo one. Hold it at your forehead, C crunch, lift in, everything down, up and down. Less than two minutes work, and we are ready for our stretches. That's it, everything up, everything down, integrating upper and lower core. Okay, you seeing? Three pulses, three, two, one, down, three, two, one. So the weight stays above your chest, and your eyes look up towards the weight. Option, if you want, extend your legs to the ceiling. Other option, just lift your knees up. Finally, if you want more stability, keep your feet down on the floor. Keep it down, back to our cross core this time, double pulse. Two to the front, two to the back. Two to the front, two to the back. Now the pulse, try and reach just a tiny bit further. So if you want, bring your foot down to the ground for stability. But with the second pulse, you twist closer towards the thigh. We've got to move very quickly when the buzzer kicks in, onto our stomachs and into a hover position. Go quickly, quickly, 30 seconds. Elbows under shoulders, knees or toes. Eyes look a foot in front of you. Push your weight into your forearms, belly brace tight. Option is down on your knees here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. This is it, the final, final exercise. Oh, well done, well done. Right, round your shoulders. Come into a child's recovery. Take your knees wide, feet together. Extend your arms. Just rest your head down. Well done, thank you for joining me. Apologies about the technical issues. <laughs> Probably need to invest in the stand, don't I, rather than trying to balance my phone up on. Onto my books. Give yourself a nice shoulder roll. And the opposite way. Interlace your hands. Reach your hands. This is my alarm telling me it's finished. <laughs> Lean over to the side, stretching through your sides and the opposite side. Step forward with your right leg, left arm up to the ceiling, pull it in, the tricep stretch. And as you extend back, you're working your hamstrings but also a bit more through the shoulders here. Opposite side. So because we've worked upper body today, Next week we will do a lower body focus. Arm comes across. Okay, step back. Right, round your shoulders. Take your arms out for the biceps, thumbs face up, just push them backwards. Thumbs face down, up, down, up, down. Very nice. Couple more exercises for the back. Take your knees for hip distance, elbows between the knees. Just relax your head down. And because we've done a little bit of squat and glute work, we're just going to do our quad muscles as well. Mm -hmm. So I hope this worked 
Jessie. I hope you had a good workout and I will see you soon. Thank you.